Hey, buddy. Oh, shit. <laughs> that seagull's like, shit, he's got a bodyguard. Thanks so much for joining me as Game Edge. We're back in the forest and we've got a lot to do. We've got a lot of work to do. Now, overnight, I did spend some time logging and getting some stuff ready, including collecting sticks, getting the rock holder done. And I'll show you guys how I did that. Of course, I'm going to do it in front of you, too, in case you're brand new to the game. You want to see how it's done. I just had to try and organize myself overnight since I couldn't really sleep. And I decided, what the hell? Let's get ourselves rolling. As you can see, I got a lot done. I also got a campfire, as you saw in the first episode. We got that up and running. Uh, I also had a couple rabbits go by and burn themselves to death. So thank you very much for the easy food. But I did not get a pelt, of course. And, of course, these wonderful birds are just landing here for no apparent reason as we sit down on our tush and gain back our energy. All right. Here's some sap. We're going to pick up some sap. It's going to tell you right now, the bottom left, nine tree sap collected. And I'm curious to see these feathers. I don't know how this works, actually. How long does it take before, or is it done killing every one of them? It doesn't count. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything like able to go and click on them. So maybe it's a little bit of time before that happens. I, I'm not sure. We'll have to wait to see. Maybe they're too high. Maybe they're too low. I don't know. We're going to try our best to do what we can. We're going to do also a log holder. We're going to have a lot to build right now. All right. I built myself one of these. Actually, one of each. But I'm going to show you guys how we do that. It's very simple. You go to actually your storage right here. And you just actually look down and you'll see a whole bunch of different kinds. Now, there's a stick holder like this. Bam. You just bring a stick holder over here. Right, so you just, you'll have the miniature version of it. You press E, and then you go up to it. Before you press E and start entering in some law, uh, some sticks into it, press R, and you'll get the big one. This is much easier to contain a whole bunch of sticks. You can actually pick up the other ones. And as we're picking them up, we can actually just drop these off in here. And that way, we can always have some on us. And when we need to build, we don't have to look around for them. That is the best route. I've always done that when I'm actually building. And that is the best thing I can possibly do. Same thing goes with the actual rock holder, uh, which we're going to need tons of them. Trust me, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be needed. Uh, same thing, rock holder. We're just going to bring that right over here. Right onto the side here. That's perfect, I think. Yeah, that looks good. And then... Uh, Oh, it's a little bit off. Let's press C to remove that. Boom. Let's do it again. Let's try to make it look somewhat nice. Uh, we can actually take these apart as we need them afterwards, but I think that's okay. Yeah, that's going to be okay. It's going to be clipping each other a little bit. Not much. Excellent. And we'll grab the rest of the sticks that I have here, which helps me build up all these things. Isn't that great? Thank God I collected them. And I probably won't have enough. Oh, just enough. Woohoo! And then we can drop off more rocks by pressing C. You just drop in the rocks into them so that's phenomenal these will actually help us quite a bit as we're building since rocks do respawn quite a bit you can actually walk around as you're logging and getting that done all right now we've got that we actually got to make ourselves a i'll show you what it's i just thought i heard something what <laughs> a log sled positive i heard something uh we just press there and there we go i don't think there's a, a big version of it it would be nice if they actually did it involved and put one in there a larger one but then again, it does carry more than it used to. But we had a, a little... one point, they were lowering the amounts, and now we have a whole bunch more in here, which is great. I don't see very many plants in this area, so that is going to be a problem. I know there's some down a hill, but then we'll try and get some sticks over here. Uh, I know some people also use a fire axe, and some people said also use if you want for no energy. Uh, you can also, which is a great idea, use a little hammer to fix things. But you know, I haven't even built one of those yet. I don't even know how to. Does it even show me how to build things like a hammer? I don't remember how to do that. All right, let's go down to the main index here. Let's go down to the bottom crafting guide. Uh, weapons. Hmm. Can I not just go through this? I don't want weapons. Tools. There we go. Uh, repair tool. We need two sticks, one rock, two cloths, ten sap. So two sticks, one rock, two cloth. All right, let's let's do that. Let's go into our map by pressing tab. Two sticks, two rocks, right? One rock? Was it two, two rocks? Yeah, it's two rocks. Two rocks. I don't remember. In ten of these. Beautiful. Now we got yourself a repair tool. Let's test this out. Let's see if it does take less stamina. And, oh, wow, it is really good. This is actually much better than using katana. You can actually keep your stamina up to par 
Very nice idea. Now this is used to repair any kind of damage to any of your items, so you need this. It's probably one of the most important things to build at the beginning, unless you want to see stuff get destroyed. They, cannibals don't really give a shit. Um, they will destroy everything you can. Can it get part two? Yes, it can. Awfully weird the, his, the way he does that, but we're gonna need a bigger pouch for rocks also. It's gonna make our life a lot easier. We'll be looking at that to, to get that done too. All right, let's just drop off the rocks we found here. Uh, stop pressing the radio for no apparent reason. The radio, if you're wondering, that is actually used for inside the game itself when you do multiplayer. I don't know if there's any use of they're ever going to add any use for it for the actual main game itself, the uh, solo. But we'll see how that goes. Katana is a lot faster for that point. But uh, for smaller trees and lot, you can also knock these smaller ones down and get some sticks out of them. All right, let's. Uh, this one right here looks like a dynamite area. Yeah, it really does. Let's light this baby up. Let's see. Get the hell out of Dodge. It's not going to fall that direction. Oh, wow. Resonation. Oh, wow. Oh, that's good. Oh, loaded, loaded. Now, the tree respawns are on. As long as you keep the actual base of them, the stumps, you will not... The trees will regrow. If you take off the stumps, they will not regrow. So that is definitely something you got to look out for. When actually do that, I'm going to flip over to this and take off our lighter. There we go. And drop these babies off. There is a lot of work to be done, and we are going to do quite a bit of it. Let's just press G to put this down for a second. Can I add? Or did I still have no sticks on me? I have no sticks. Okay. So far, the cannibals have not come around overnight. Well, I hope I didn't jinx myself, but that is at least something good. Uh, there may We may have lost some logs below. It's very possible. You can always go and check to see whether anything fell down. It looks like one or... No, it doesn't look like anything fell, except for me. I thought it was one there, but that is not one, is it? That's just it being built. Yes, it is. All right. It tricked me. It tricked me. We'll get some of this, too. We're going to need some plant life. And if we build some stuff, including some sh small shelters... Yeah, our stamina just goes to nothing when we use that without the actual little hammer. That makes more sense, actually. A whole lot more. I wonder if they're going to fix that up, too. That doesn't seem to make very much sense at utilizing some tool and I'm not getting tired out of it. And there's a bird right here. Hey. Hey, crow. Thank you for your feathers. Thank you. I have made a couple of arrows also overnight. <sighs> Don't eat those. I need those flowers. <laughs> those chicories. You can also throw rocks at birds, of course, and they will knock out. We have to aim at them, of course. It's not so easy as it sounds. All right, so I found a little spawn area. That's good. Uh, you can hit them in, while they're flying. I've done it many times. It just missed them completely. Uh, any more sticks and stuff here? No. We do have our bag from last time, so that is good. Can't carry more of these. We can actually maybe eat some. There we go. Since there is some everywhere, and it probably will respawn itself as we walk away from this area and come back. It's always has, so I don't know if they switched it up or changed that, but I doubt they did. Make our way back around here and put in the last few logs. There we go. And press E. This will be extremely useful. You're just going to drop the logs right in there. And as you're picking them up, you can actually just slide them in. Now, we are really close uh, to the actual build area. So, it's not like it really makes a big difference. But it can be a little bit faster. I'll have to walk that distance and just have to push it once. I just heard some boxes or something. Could be animals. Also, they're knocking around our wood. They do flap around quite a bit. If they hit them, they actually do have the ability to throw these things around. So, be careful. You can't lose logs very easily. There we go. One extra one on us. And we're exhausted. We're going to take a little break. And see if we can have to start up a little bit of fire and cook up the meat we just picked up off the birds. Now, I did cook up also the body parts we had in our inventory. Not on purpose, of course. But, um, oh, there we go. Not on purpose again. I'm just trying to stoke up the fire. They'll have to work on this part of it where we will have to put the stuff in here. I actually have to press R. I find it's a little bit cumbersome to actually do. But yeah, it is what it is. Hey, we didn't pick up the bird feet. Oh, shoot. I wanted to pick up the bird food. Oh, well. It is what it is. We'll get at least a stick out of there. So nothing from these things. 
Nope, nothing at all. All right, let's take a tiny little break. Make sure the guy is nice and well rested, and we're going to make another log sled in a few seconds too. We're going to start making a couple of them, and the reason why you want to do that is keeping yourself busy and having enough to you know, put down as much as possible. Now, log sleds are great because you go back and forth, have one a little further, one a little closer as you're building. So that is the ways why I do that. And also, we can put away the stones we have here, the rocks. I think I'm dropping them as I'm picking them up now. I really can't wait to see how well we're going to be doing throughout this process. There's a lot to be done. It's not so easy, and there is a lot of work. And there'll be a lot of grinding to be done, so hopefully you guys are in for that. All right, there's some more stone rocks here, rocks here. We're going to need these big time. So as you see them, place them in. Perfect. Yeah, I saw it there. I just I don't know why I picked that up. I just didn't feel like it. All right, let's put this over to here, and we're going to put on another one of the log slides right away. And it's going to rain. We actually should be heading out to the water really quick and getting ourselves a water. The ability to get water with a shell. We're going to need that. And also, somewhere to put our food down. Let's put the log sled right here. Beautiful. And uh, we should actually... Which one's closer? Is the water closer on this side or the other side? I think we're in between, aren't we? I think there's some water right down here with turtles. Am I mistaken, or am I mistaken? No, this is where our other base is. Oh, we got some company. That's excellent. Looks like a big guy, too. Looks like he's stuck. Oh, so we can come down here and grab some of our food. This is actually grabbing water. That's nice. And we'll open up here and grab this equip. And right here, you'll see it shows up like that. Beautiful. I don't know how many times you can fill it up, but you can. It says currently at water on 100%. I think the first time filling up was just enough. We'll put on some armor. We should go off the lizard. And we'll get ourselves a katana out because it looks like we have some serious amount of clients here. And I call them clients because that's exactly what they end up being here. All right. Let's eat a little more. All the goodness we put up. There's also these wonderful suitcases we should come back for. And you don't want to overdo it, but it is really cool. I'll play ball? Do you want to play ball? Do you want to play? Do you want to play? No? See, I know you're probably trying to say to yourself, I'm going to be nice to this guy. Don't be nice to me. All right, I know exactly what you guys are up to. I'm going to grab your club, though. I don't have one of those. So, yes, this is the actual club. We built our own, and then we got this one here, which is not so bad. It's a pretty good melee tool, uh, weapon, I guess you could say, but it's not so great. I mean, overall, I didn't, I didn't enjoy it that much. Come on, you little rabbit. Not this time. No, 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 no. I need that big time. I need two of these pelts. I need to make a berry basket thing. It'd be kind of nice. We're going to go and wash yourself off. There we go. All nice and clean. I don't think we can pick up any raw rope. Oh, we can. Cool. All right. Any more turtles here? That's what I really need. Which one do you think it is? I think this one is slow. Oh, where do you go, little shite? Gotcha. Thank you for the arrows. Back. I'd appreciate it. I wish seven days that I would have that option. All right. We will need a trophy. Not my style. Ah, uh, there's a tortoise. Turtle. We need a shell. Sorry, buddy. I'm really sorry. It's a shell. I'm sorry about your friend. I hope he wasn't your mate. It's for a better a better good of the people. Let's get off any kind of blood we could have had on us. Alright. Well, no other rabbits here. I don't see anything else. Oh, I thought there was a lizard there. Oh, wow. Okay, he's still here. We can actually grab him with us. And it's pressing E and holding down. And what it does is that we can actually bring him back upstairs. And uh, be able to get ourselves settled out here a bit. At least we got that. We can start uh, at least getting some water too. We have a little bit down here in case of emergency. Which isn't that far away, which is great. We're almost at the base. We'll be able to sleep tonight, so that is great. 
news. We're going to cook up as many cannibals as we can. Of course, that will give us the ability to survive a little bit longer and get some bone armor. Beautiful. There we go. We got some bone from here, right here, from his last time. What is all this food? It can't be good for me. Oh, man, where I'm grabbing that food from, that is not good. I have to get rid of this stuff. That's the reason why I'm doing this. I wish we could just grab it and put it in inventory. All right, talk about overeating. Okay. That's where he's grabbing it from. It's making me sick. All right, let's go. I like this baby up. Oh, my God, look at that wood. Oh, wow. All right. That That's special. That's very special. All right, let's make sure we're ready to go at all times. Here we go, some extra armor for now. Miles will make sure. And if you're looking for your armor again, it's those white dots on the, beside the red line. That is where it is. Oh, shoot, I need to make... One, two... I think it's a pouch, this, right? Yes, my berry pouch. Excellent. I'm going to need a little bit more... Some lizard skin on us, and we're going to, have to make ourselves a rack for drawing the meat, just like we have down below. Now, that's one little problem with this. It seems to attract mutants, and they do attack it. Uh, they do try and eat it, so I do like to put it on top of the fire, if possible. And uh, that way, they kind of have no choice but to burn themselves if they want some. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. Oh, for freak's sake. It makes it so hard for us to grab the damn bones. Yeah, I know, I know. It, it's, I'm back to burning myself. This doesn't burn as long as it used to. Wow. I used to burn, like, whew, a lot longer than that. Uh, God, it's dark here. I have no other sticks. Wow. One stick. Hopefully we'll find some on the ground. If not, we're going to have to go down a little bit lower and finalize that to put away the meat so it doesn't go bad. If it's drawing itself, it won't go bad. All right, that's that's not good news at all. That's really not freaking awesome. Oh, we have actually a place to blow up here. Okay, I'm going to have to use that. All right, well, we're going to place this over here. Oh, I'm getting jammed. Let's see if we can sleep tonight. With all this horrible weather, let's see if we can actually just sleep tonight here. All right, achievement, was it unlocked? Survivalist, five, I guess we survived five days. That's a brand new thing. I survived more than five days in this game. That is fine, we're just gonna save by pressing C. I didn't come and bother us, which is great. We're gonna turn off our lighter. We don't need for that right now. Uh, do I have all the rocks I, I need in here? No. Grab, and there should be some more sticks and stuff on the ground here. They do kind of glimmer through. Uh, also, these plants here, when you restart or reload into the game, they will be back. So you get those one stick kind of good things. Uh, sticks do are all over the ground. You can actually find them usually near trees. Which makes sense, right? Uh, but you can actually find them usually around here. But I don't see any of them on the ground here. Unless I'm passing through them too fast. There was one here. Yeah, they're not very visible. You have to look for them, but they are there. You have to kind of run with looking, looking downwards as much as possible. To see the emblem of it. It's okay. We can get going. That should finalize this. Excellent. Let's just drop off all the food here. We'll do C. C. There we go. It's a turtle part. And we'll turn this back on here. We are actually starving. Because we slept, of course. Blame it on the rain. There we go. Cook those bees up to keep your protection. We're going to head back down a hill here and get ourselves a little bit of food that we have already stockpiled a mile well before it goes bad or the cannibals go and eat it. They're aware of us, of course. I heard the scream, and uh, killing one of them does kind of uh, declare war, as you'd say. Pick up all these. All right, we're exhausted again because, of course, I didn't use the hammer. I used my katana of habit. Eat this baby up. All right, great. And we're going to make our water up top, too. 
Hello. Thank you. Beautiful. There's a rabbit right there. Overshot it, I think. Yeah, I did. Damn it. Any more rabbits around here? There's one. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I should have picked up the arrow before, I think. Excellent. Maybe one more to make the, it all work out perfectly fine, and I'll be good to go for a little while. I need to make another pouch for uh, sticks itself. I'm oh, sorry, for rocks. So we can carry a bigger load. Yeah, I, thought I should be leaving the rabbits alone pretty much for the rest of the game, hopefully. Unless I get hungry. They are the easiest game to grab. Well, easiest with a bow, of course. I do not see any more. Oh, well, it is what it is. Make our way up top. It would be nice if we could actually grab our food and move it upwards into the other base, but we can't. Once it's on a drying rack, you can't pick it up and store it. I remember we could at one point. I think we could tab it, can't we? Hey, buddy. Oh, shit. <laughs> that seagull's like, shit, he's got a bodyguard. Oh, my God. Could we just press E? I think we could. We used to. Yeah, you can. Sorry. That's right. Just press E. I remember that now. And it stores it up right here so you can actually walk with some dried meat. Awesome. I got to start doing that. It doesn't leave the meat up too long. That way the cannibals can't eat it. I don't think it goes bad on you either, so. I hear something. It's just leaves or... It's freaking me out, man. All right, it's a lizard there. It's already dried. Rabbit. Raw. Dried. Raw. Okay. Let's see if we can actually put one up here. This one looks like it's cured up and ready to go, but okay. It is what it is. We can actually store the muck up if we want to. We'll pick up our sap to be collected. And, oh, we have some feathers. Yes, two feathers collected. Excellent. Another two feathers. All right, those things are well worthwhile. We're going to have to make sure we get that done. All right, to make more feathers, or more, sorry, arrows themselves, we're going to have to just put five of these in here. And one stick. Now, I don't have any alcohol me, which is very odd, but yes, uh, I don't have enough, so we're going to have to wait. We also have to make a quiver, which I think we need more deer. Is that what it is? No. Did we build a quiver already? We did not build a quiver. Is it all with rabbit? There you go. Rabbit food, quiver, rock bag. That is something we're going to need big time. Rock bag. Two of those. I think we're missing one rabbit fur, right? One rabbit fur. Unless there's a stick that's involved in that, but I don't think so. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll get one more rabbit. Don't worry. I was just testing it out. And of course, you can always go and pick it up. I know I'm over killing, but these are my armor for now. Thank you very much. And we're also going to be putting down some extra armor here. And what I'm doing right now is I'm pressing Control and right click, and it'll give you. The, it should give you the right amount, actually. It didn't. Wow. It does it only the bones, I guess. Okay, remove. Right click, and Control to that one, and we just need some cloth. Awesome. Perfect. And we can actually make ourselves a better spear. Upgraded spear. Is it three of them only? That, there you go. Upgraded spear. And you can also add alcohol to that, which will also create uh, a little sun bitch. How you like that? You didn't like that at all. all right, I'll take it. You leader? Yeah, I got some bad news for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I I don't I don't follow your rules. Yes, buddy. <coughs> Watch out, there's a ledge there. Watch out, watch out. Are you done? 
pick up my arrows off you. Excellent. What is that on the ground? Oh, it's logs. Okay, I was looking at this new emblem. All right, that's good. We'll just place the bodies over here. Press G for drop. Perfecto. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Let's just grab our log sled. We'll move them really close. And that's pretty much it. You just hold E and just bring the log sled around. So if you guys never seen that before, it is really awesome. Easy to build and get the things done. As long as you hit up the right thing and you don't have other things bothering you like rocks that want to be picked up. But this is a whole lot faster if you start building a 400. Oh, God, I always have to go big. I, I can't go small. I have this big problem with going small, guys. I can't help myself. Uh, I know. Some people are going to say, I can't believe it. Every time you build, brother, I know. I can't help myself at all. All right, let me put this log slit over here. And I grab this one and bring that one over here, too. And we're going to start doing a little bit more TNT, I think, over here. Downwards. I think there was some room over there. Wow, these rocks are everywhere. Right about here. Oh, yeah. Shit, I want to test this out. All right, I'm going to need uh, an explosive. Press C. It's probably the gun, isn't it? Wow, we could have died. Could have died. Some rope. I should look up before I do that piece of the gun. That is awesome. We got the piece of the gun. All right, so you have to get a whole bunch of parts for the gun. That is something we're going to have to get done, too. Here is a gun piece we're looking for. This is one of the pieces. All part four of eight. So we have uh, a lot to go through. We have seven more to hit up. I love if I can put that upside down. All right, just go in front of it if you want to write it up. And press E again to get yourself out. All right. Logs can't fly quite high, so don't be surprised if you have a hard time finding them sometimes. I found some much further away. I also found my log sled being pushed around quite a bit. Now, I don't know if they fixed that since then, but I found some halfway across the map before. So, yeah, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. That's all I picked up. I thought I saw a lot more trees than that. Or did they just kind of explode and go everywhere they're not supposed to? Probably exploded and went everywhere they're not supposed to. Oh, well, it is what it is. We have definitely are in control of this area currently. We're going to have to make some traps and stuff, which is going to make our life a whole lot easier. Uh, next episode, we're going to get some traps done too. Start blocking up some areas. Again, every time we sleep, our trees are going to start growing back. So that is going to be something we're going to do. Try and do as much as possible. I think I got some company on my right-hand side. I saw something run past, and that was not a deer. Pretty sure I saw something run past me. All right, drop, drop. There we go. And we got one that's full. <laughs> We're falling that hole. That will reseal itself, and I'm mistaken. It won't stay open unless they got that fixed too. They will. Uh, it will happen that way. Anyway, so you can also come up to your log slits here if you guys see the little flag. Press R on it. You can actually switch up the color you want. So if you have multiple people, I think it's also in multiplayer. You can actually put up certain areas. I prefer mine near the orangey kind of area. It looks kind of orange-yellow. It works. It works for me. Any logs rolling down here? Oh, there's one right on top of me. Again. It should just walk right on top of me. So that. Perfect. And I think maybe a couple more. What was that sound? Man, this game is freaking the hell out of me. This game is so well done. I mean, if you have not picked up this game, wait for a sale, whatever it is, or pay full price. I mean, full price, that's why I paid for it, and I loved it. I've been in love with this game for way, way long. I'm happy to be back, because I've actually now remember why I love this game so much. Darn, that's just scaring the shit out of me. Let's drop into a couple more logs. I'll try to do some off-camera also, but if there's some... Some things like Virginia and other things come around here. We will be back on air and doing this logging as much as we possibly can. We can also do some montages if you guys are interested. Make sure you get a coffee. Let's tell me how you guys feel. Hit up the like button. I know I lost a log somewhere. I saw it fly. Hmm. Anyways, it is what it is. We'll find it afterwards. But there's a lot of work to be done. We're doing a lot more than expected, and we've done extremely well. So I'm very, very happy so far. So thanks so much, guys, for being here. Really do appreciate it. Again, if you guys like this, do not forget the like button. 
Did you see the image? I'll catch you guys on the flip side.